Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, this is Ben from Ben Cats and Kerr, and today, well, I've noticed a little something in Overwatch, okay? So, first off, I just want to say that, yes, this is going to be an Overwatch theory video. No, no, the channel is not just going to be Overwatch videos. I know I have some Overwatch video recordings planned, which I have to take, I have to look at now because I've made uh, too much to handle, and I've forgotten which ones are which, so that's my fault. But, Today we're going to be talking about this. Now what is this you might be asking yourself? Oh, it's just a little something I found curious the first day that I checked out Overwatch. I asked Cat, hey, Reaper's not a hero, Widowmaker's not a hero, why are they on the Overwatch page? Why are Reaper and Widowmaker on the Overwatch Heroes page? I mean, albeit you shouldn't make a page, you know, it would be a waste of space on the website to make a page for villains, just villains, because there's only two of them. Now there's three upcoming, of course. Now, including Sombra here, spoiler alert, uh, <laughs> including Sombra here, which we're going to have and say, come November 1st, everyone's expecting, are these people, are these three individuals, is Talon really an organization of evil? Or are they just doing good, but from their own perspective? And from is their and to hear me out on this, it, is from their perspective perspective Overwatch bad? If I said that right. Now this is an image that came up on Twitter. Um, it's it's actually a fake, believe it or not. It's made by the the user called Spooky Gay C U N T. Now I'm not gonna say the word because, you know, the whole YouTube hero is mess, and it's all crazy, and whatnot. But, this is fake. No matter how real it looks to you, and believe me, it does look freaking real. Um, and gosh, I can't wait till this is real. It's, it's gonna look something like this, guaranteed. But, um, because it seems like they go kind of alphabetical. Well, maybe not. Yeah, they do. Okay, so this is pretty much how it would look. Um... <coughs> But this is fake. Sadly, it is confirmed to be fake. I thought it was real. Everyone thought it was real. It was blowing up. I mean, this was this was the original leaked of it. And then the person, the, everyone was demanding to know where they got it from. So they're like, whoa, calm down, calm down. It's just a fake. <laughs> it's just a fake. All right, so anyway, this is a fake, but this is what you could be hyped up for. This is what you'd be hyped up for. Go check out Spooky Gay C-U-N-T. And go check out the page, and you can have that image for your little thumbnails and whatever else you want to do with your clickbaity self. Now, let's talk about talent again. Let's go back to the original topic of talent. Are they good or are they evil? And why are Reaper. Reaper. Ah, uh, sa petit je fleur. I don't know, I'm trying to speak French. I'm Widowmaker. I'm just kidding. Um, no. But Reaper and Widowmaker, why are they on the hero page? Let's get into the game. Let's talk about this. So, first off, all right, let's talk about a term. It's called Luddites. Now, Luddites and Neo Luddites, as they're called, they are against the technological modern. It's like they're basically against the Internet of Things, the the modern technology, the the whole how everything's becoming technological, technologically advanced, and obviously in the Overwatch universe, they have probably self-replicating AI at this point. I think that's who makes the giant robots that Torbjorn takes down. No? No, it was that one guy that he killed. But there seem to be some hints that oh, th basically robots have become self-aware. They are, uh, how to say, um, yeah, I think it's just they're not, they're, they're just self-aware now. And I think that's important to keep in mind. So as we head into a game, I just want to discuss that with you. We'll keep up the image of the roster here so you can get hyped about it. But basically, are those three evil? No. Well, not necessarily anyway. It depends on your view. Are you a technophile or a neolodite? Are you against the technological advancement or are you for a totally technology-based future? Or are you somewhere in between? This is a question I, my professor asked me during my freshman year of college and it sticks with me to this very day because... I'm conflicted on the issue myself, and I think everyone you ask can say that they are. Unless they're like extremely neo or they're extremely technophile. 
but typically you'll get somewhere in between. You won't get a solid technophile, you won't get a solid neolodite, but Talon are neolodites. Because have we seen Blackwatch? And again, remember Blackwatch Race? I can bring him up. Well, now I can't because the game has started. I'll, I'll play as him. I'll play, I'll play as him. Just show him off a bit for you. But, okay, so I, do, I have my cam off. I do have my cam off. Everything else is off. Nothing can possibly interrupt this. Nothing at all. Good. That's what we want out of this. All right. So, basically what I'm going to get into is I'm going to get into some things. Okay, this is Blackwatch Rays. All right. So, when reading the comics and other such canon-based things, have you known Reyes to ever really kill anyone? Like, anyone who is really, you know... From what I've seen, Blackwatch has just mostly killed people that are like... They basically just killed robots, really. I mean, that's, that's, that's really all I know, anyway. So, you know, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but it seems like they're, they just don't like the whole technological advancement factor. Now, I know you might be thinking, you're like, well, how do you know? It's just like, well, go read the comics, go watch the cinematics. They're against technological advancement. Now, why would Reaper want to kill all the members of Overwatch? Why would he want to hunt them down? No one knows for sure if he really does. I think he just wants to get back at Overwatch, at Overwatch for what they did. That's his personal goal. Now, everyone in Talon has their own personal goals. Sombra is hacking. Um, because you know what? Her, especially her goal. Her small goal right now, based on what we've seen on the Reddit page, which I will link below, is to basically keep Mexico safe. Literally. They have basically a guy who wants to make Mexico great again, or whatever, and keep Mexico's people safe by putting technology into it, and Sombra's like, no, I don't want that. Ironically, she also uses technology to uh, perform these procedures. So, I mean, in a sense, she's a little bit hypocritical. Who can judge her? She's stuck between being a Luddite or a Technophile. Obviously, it's a conflicting issue for some, especially people like Sombra. Who uses technology to hack things? I mean, you know, you gotta, you gotta use something to hack things. You know, hacking involves hacking technology. Now she's kind of in the middle between being a neo luddite and a technophile. All right, so she's go read up on the emails, go read up on the Guatemala guy or whatever his name is, go read up on all that good stuff. Uh, go educate yourself if you want to, and then you can go back into this video if you want, or I can just give you the summary. Basically, the rundown is she doesn't like Mexico's new leader. He's a technophile. He wants. Uh, he basically wants technology to sort of uh, be sort of what keeps everyone safe in Mexico. However, Sombra does not think it's a good idea. I think this is because she has seen potentially what can happen. Now, we don't know what time period this takes place. We don't know if it takes place after the events of the last Bastion cinematic. We don't know if this takes place after the. Um, what was it? Oh goodness, I don't even remember the name right now. Can I teleport up there, please? Thank you. Now, we don't know if this takes place, when it takes place. There's no dates on the emails exactly, and that's part of the issue. Is that there's literally no dates on the emails. We're left with sort of a, a guessing game at this point. We don't know if we're looking at the past, present, or future. Um, and that's that's a big part of what will make this what makes this theory exactly, because you have the potential to be like, oh well, maybe it's uh, maybe it's after the last bastion. Maybe she sees that bastions can be corrupted. Maybe she sees that they can basically have uh, the Omex can basically suffer robo PTSD in a sense. So I could see why she'd think that a, a bastion randomly kind of lashing out would be a bad idea. It would just be a bad idea and. From the looks of the emails, uh, the people at Lumerico, which is the company that the Mexico's new leader works for in this time period, it's actually basically um, <laughs> they used Bastion as an espresso machine. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I swear to God, they used Bast they used a Bastion model E54 as an espresso machine. And Sombra's hacking into it as we speak. 
And the fact that it's so hackable is also another issue. That's another reason why I could see how Sombra would think that, oh, they're heroes. Talon is a hero. Basically what is Blackwatch, uh, is, you know, the opposite of Overwatch is basically heroes. Now, the reason that they're putting the hero roster would probably be because from their perspective, they are indeed heroes. And why do you say that? Well, because information is stored on technology these days. And, if you don't think of it, well, it would be really bad if, say, the technology got hacked into. You know, that'd be really extremely bad. Um, and I know what you're thinking, oh, we'll just make it encrypted, right? Well, some people can hack into encryptions. Obviously, Sombra did easily. It's not even just about one computer, it's about hacking into any device. The fact that they used a Bastion as an espresso machine, <laughs> which I'm still laughing about horribly, but it's it's pretty funny when you think about it. it. You have to admit, it's pretty funny, in a sense. I mean, it's messed up and cruel. It's a poor little Bastion, but you, you know, it, it's a little bit silly too. Why would they use a Bastion as an espresso machine? Very interesting to look at, because they said him. In one of the emails, they referred to the coffee, the espresso machine, as a him. Call espresso machines don't have gender. Don't don't even try to argue with me on that. Don't even try to get controversial on that. Coffee machines. I keep saying coffee. Espresso machines. God dang it. I don't drink coffee or espresso. They're the same thing to me, damn it. Okay. So <laughs> I need a drink. Um let me keep talking, actually. So basically, what I'm getting into is that in if information could be hacked, if top secret information could be hacked, obviously, Sombra could easily hack Winston's database with information on all Overwatch heroes, all Overwatch operatives. From Soldier 36 Ana, as sort of revealed by the Halloween cards, all the way to Soldier 76 Jack Morrison. Now, you know, again, Correct me if I'm wrong here, but there were some cards released on the Twitter and on Facebook page that had 76 as Soldier's tip card. Under the tip for Anna, it had s number 36. Sort of implying that she's Soldier 36. So she was there before, I don't know, maybe even, I guess, Anna? Or no, J Jack Morrison was, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, getting off topic, getting off topic. <coughs> I have a bad habit of doing that, by the way, in case you haven't noticed. Um, but basically, what I'm saying is that Talon's not really all that bad, and it just depends on how you look at things. Because you basically have an organization of neo Luddites who are against techno technological advancement because information can be stolen. And obviously in this universe, in this timeline, uh, technology is very dangerous, potentially deadly, can destroy buildings even. And they're seeing that. But the interesting thing is, in the comics we see these skulls. We literally see skulls. Now, is that talent as well? Could they be trying to tell the world something by making these deadly robots? Even I'm not sure. Because I feel like inside Talon, there are people who have conflicting interests. It's an organization without much trust, unlike Overwatch. <coughs> they are almost, in a sense, polar opposites, even in regards to what they feel about technology. And that's why Overwatch is an interesting universe. Because you get the neo Luddites, who all feel kind of differently on it, and you get the Technophiles, who all kind of agree that, well, that robot lives matter. I'm not trying to just make a pun out of that or something, I'm not trying to make fun of anything. I'm just saying I feel like that's what would be said during the Overwatch universe, if we were to study into it a little bit. Because it seems like they have to make a whole separate city just for Omnix, because it's such a big, controversial issue in the Overwatch universe. <coughs> I'm not going to say controversial much more, because, you know, whole video system and all that stuff, but... That sort of seems to be the big issue at the time in Overwatch, is that, you know, are Omnix people? Are Omnix, you know, important to life? Are they souls just as we are? And arguably they can be. If you actually think about it, you can see why the Technophiles would be like, yes, Omnix, Omnix are important. Omnix are lives. So don't kill them off. Even if they could be hacked, I mean, arguably, 
with the right sort of chemical plant, you know, I mean, ants' brains can be hacked uh, by that fun guy. If you look it up, zombie ants and zombie bees. Potentially insects can be hacked already, in a sense. So humans could be too, potentially, by something. And that goes into the argument that Omnics can also be hacked. So really, any of us can be hacked into. It's just different ways to go about it. And alright, moving on to my next little point here. I'm dragging out the video a little bit. I'm sorry for that. I'll just feel for the throat hog. I don't care. I give some extra EXP. I should have over Trace her. She didn't get anything. Anyway, let's go on to the next part here. I'm talking about the whole data hacking thing. Alright. So, if information is stored digitally all the time, and over technology, over internet, in general, can it be accessed by anyone? Potentially, yes. And that's a common argument that Neoluddites will make. They don't want their information out there. Well, what do they have to hide? Well, maybe they just feel like it's kind of invasive, and you can see why. I mean, <laughs> it's not that hard to see why people would feel like that's invasive. I mean, you can sort of just see the reasoning there, can't you? Rhea's, I mean, he's in a sense a hero. I mean, sure, they use technology, but I feel like they're using it to destroy it, too. Because Overwatch, they support technophilia. The love of Omnix. But Omnix can be hacked and used to kill people. They're basically against robot humans that can be hacked. So in a sense, from Talon's own view, they are heroes, and Overwatch is the villains. Letting robots that could be hacked potentially kill people. When you look at it that way, Overwatch is the villains, aren't they? Make, give, gives you some interesting perspective. But that's from the perspective of a Neo-Luddite. Now let's move on to the perspective of a tech technophile. <coughs> uh, excuse my sniffles. Now... If Winston stored all those things on his server, you know, Winston's all, he's, he's good, he's cool, you know, he's got this, he's got his, uh, western lowland gorilla vibe going on, if you know what I'm saying. Now, why, you know, why would Reaper want to hack that? Well, it's a good question, but I feel like it's also to, uh, in a sense, maybe destroy what's going on with that. You know, what's the t basically to keep technology from becoming even more advanced. I feel like that is sort of, in a sense, um, Talon's goal. <laughs> I'm gonna mute this person now. Because I don't like people with loud mics. I'm sorry for that. If that's offensive, I don't know if it is. I'll give them a chance here. Maybe it was just on accident, but... I hate it when that happens. I hate it when people make random noises and stuff. It just, it gets, it's startles me. Now, anyway, moving right along, technophile argument. <coughs> if your information is protected by someone, you know, really well, then that's good. Your information will be secured, it'll be good to go. Make that basket, please. Yes. Yes, that is... Yes, that is good. That is... You did great. What is this? Is that... It's a medic. Huh. Medic outfit. Anyway. Sorry, just getting a little speculative there. Um, let's get into this, so. Basically, what I'm seeing is sort of this ideal. Okay, so people, technophiles might argue, oh, well, as long as you have your information protected constantly, consistently, you'll be okay. Well, they, they freaking, they kick down the door. They go SWAT team insta into Winston's uh, habitat, you could say. And they just freaking, they try to take him down. Uh, obviously, he wins. Okay. They had a weak team. Their team wasn't very good, what they had going on there. But, I mean, you know, that you can see why that they would argue, oh, information is secure. Because of the technology advancement, information is more secure than it's ever been. Because we've always had technology. Now, Luddism, in general, is just the whole being against technology in general, obviously. So you have this whole Luddism versus technophilia, and look at it this way, Talon is the Neo-Luddites, in a sense. Sombra is actually, in a sense, an, a hero. They're all heroes 
from their own perspectives. They're all doing something good for the world. Obviously, maybe not Gabriel Reyes. I don't know. He's just getting revenge, but he also seems to be sort of in this help for neoladism uh, in a sense. So th this is getting really deep and really, really, and I mean really deep, but I feel like this is sort of the conflict that we see in Overwatch in general. I feel like this is sort of what we're seeing right now. As we get into the story, I feel like that's what we see. Especially with um, the whole Junkenstein thing maybe even too. I'm not sure, but that could be a part. There could be some hints there as to how the whole Omnix becoming self-aware thing happened. Obviously Anubis hacked some of the Omnix and that's what caused them to sort of go evil in, in, a, in a sense. Now, if you go read the comics, you'll understand all I'm talking about. If you go check the Reddit page in the description, you'll also understand what I'm talking about. And I feel like I'll release this video first before any other Overwatch videos to sort of tell you that no, I'm not going to be doing only Overwatch videos. That's not what the channel's becoming. That's not what it ever will become. I'm not going to do solely Overwatch. That, that would be boring. I wouldn't want to do that. Right now, I'm just sort of doing this for the Halloween grind. Honestly, that's like most of it, really. It's just the Halloween grind, man. It's just... It's the balls. I don't know. Um, but... Definitely, there's this fight of Neoludites versus Technophilias. Or Technophiles. Um, and if... Uh, this is just a theory, again. It's just speculation. But I feel like that's really what's going on in Overwatch. I feel like that's what Talon's real motivation is. And they've basically just... I mean, Reaper basically, I don't know why. Again, I think Talon's trying to take down Overwatch because they realize they're, they're Technophiles. Overwatch is Technophiles, and Talon is trying to stop the Technophiles. They're just doing what they see as justified. In their own sense, they are heroes. And by killing Overwatch members, they're preventing technology from advancing any further. So, I, I, f I feel like that's for sure what's going on. And if you have an opinion about that, go ahead. Give some criticism in the comments. I like it. I love it. And I will do more Overwatch series. There's not much to go on. Well, actually, there's a lot to go on, especially with Sombra. But I don't want to focus on Sombra only. I want to include her, because she's absolutely coming up. Which is why it's part of why I made this video, because I wanted to include her as part of the theory. And I didn't do that in time. But I wanted to include Sombra in it, because Sombra is a prime example of that neo Luddism. She's f both for technology and against it. She's conflicted on it. She's sort of in the middle. And I feel like she could be working for Overwatch and Talon, but we're not sure. We just don't know yet. We don't know enough. But she certainly is trying to protect the people of Mexico. That much is clear to us. That much has been made obvious. And through that, we sort of know that she is, in a sense, her she's a hero to her people. She is a hero to Mexico. And, I mean, you can't really argue with that. She's trying to protect them. She is their hero. And yet, she's considered, like, she's working on her talent. But no one, no one has specifically called Reaper, n none of, okay, get this. None of the lore, none of the canon, none of the voice lines have called Reaper a villain. He is misunderstood. He was, his place, he did so much for Overwatch. And yet, after the whole war, after the whole Omnicrise ended, he got no credit. They gave Soldier 76 all the credit. And that's what really, really messed uh, Gabriel Reyes up. That's how he became the edgelord named Reaper. Because him and Jack had a fight, because they basically, you know, they gave all the credit to Jack Morrison. And it wasn't right. It wasn't right at all for them to do that. I, I don't, I, I don't agree with them doing that, for sure. Now, another thing, this is so, wow, this is going to be like 30 minute theory. Um, I hate to make it that long, but this is actually a discussion, I guess, at, at this point. Is, is Overwatch actually about the battle of neo Luddism versus Technophilia? That should be something how the video is titled. Um, just as an idea for future me. Alright, so, who, who do you side with? Do you, I mean, obviously, nothing, no lines have ever said that Sombra is evil. Sombra is definitely not evil. I mean, the ARG for her is pretty evil. I mean, come on, Blizzard. You tease her for, like, that long, and then you go and reveal that. I mean, come on. 
arguably, but, I mean, her character herself, if you look at what we know about her so far, she's actually a good person. She's a really decent person. And I'd even be willing to say, what is, what, what? Where am I? Is that Reinhardt? Well, I, I'd be willing to say that, um, you know, Sombra isn't as bad as people say, like, just because she works for Talon doesn't mean she's a bad person. That's basically what I'm getting at here. Just because someone works for Talon does not make them a bad person. As you can see with Reaper, he basically just had a falling out. And he wants revenge on everyone now, and you know why he's so obsessed with revenge? You know why he's so pained? Because he's constantly at a hyper level regenerating cells. Hyper regenerating cells. And imagine how painful that is to just be living that whole time. Like, is he immortal at that point? I mean, uh, technically, uh, who knows? We're not going to get into the science of that. But certainly, you could say that he's always in pain. He always is so negative because he's always hurting. Can you blame the guy for being such an edgelord? I mean, come on. Look at his situation. I mean, jeez. Who would want to live a life like that? No one. No one would by choice. Makes you feel bad for Reaper, doesn't it? Because... I mean, Jack got all the credit, Jack didn't do Jack squat, but Reaper did all the work, really, he, he, he was making all the plans, and, you know, he did all the good stuff, but they gave the credit to Jack Morrison, and they had Jack lead from then on. No, it was Reaper, the experienced Reaper, Gabriel Reyes, who should have gotten it. And that's sort of, I mean, did, did Reaper start Talon? I don't think that's even, I don't think that's canon, actually. No one really knows. But what I'm seeing is that people did not like the technological advancement. Now again, if I'm completely wrong, or if there's something that I'm not seeing here, do tell me in the comments. Please, again, I'm telling you right now, criticize me. But make it constructive criticism. Tell me exact lines where I can read certain things to find certain information. Give me a link to things if you want. Things that actually prove it, things that are canon, things that are reliable sources that prove that my theory is wrong, or that certain aspects of it are wrong. Oh, were you a friendly? I am so sorry. Oh, that, that, so, yep, now I'm a villain. Isn't that an interesting plot twist to the video? But, uh, th there is that, that aspect there, it's just, it is there, it's predominantly there. You can't argue that, I mean, maybe you can't actually argue anything about the theory, about the lore here. Obviously, you can't argue anything. You have that right to argue anything about it that you want. But where's the proof that, you know? Where's the proof that this is wrong? Uh, I guess that's what I would want to see, if anything. Um, that's what I would like to see. If, if, this is, if my theory is wrong, do prove it to me. Do show me where it's wrong, show me where I've wronged here. But that's pretty much it. I mean, Sombra is a hero for the people of Mexico. She uses technology, but doesn't like the advancement of it. She is a neo Luddite to a certain degree. Not to the whole degree, but to a certain degree for sure. It's very limited, but she it's certainly there. Her, her neo Luddite views are certainly there. And besides her working, not only working for Talon, just in general, she's kind of just that neo Luddite that we see her to be. That's what it seems like, anyway. But, you know, I could be wrong again. Like, I could always be wrong about this stuff. Potentially. But, I do, I do want to know what you think. I do. I absolutely do want to know what you think about this. I've probably stayed up way too late talking about this, and I'll probably end it after the match. But, I do think it's important to kind of discuss it. I mean, you know, you've got this... A talent organization who are neo Luddites at this point, assuming my theory is correct, which I, you know, I'm not saying that it is. Take it with a grain of salt. I'm just basing this off of what we know so far. I'm not scripting this. I'm doing it naturally based on what I know. I've read all the comics, too, by the way. In case you're wondering, I have read all the comics. I can't prove that I've read them. Sure. Your argument's valid there. But I have read them. And I'm an honest person, so I could tell you that for a fact. Now, do comment below what you think, because I, I don't know what you think. You can think anything that you want. You have the right to think how you want to. I just feel like it's really interesting to just kind of take a look back and think to yourself, oh, you know. 
they're against the technological advancement. Obviously, Tracer got hurt when they tried teleporting. Maybe Talon was like, dude, look at Tracer teleporting. She could have died. She could have been wiped out of existence. But Winston fixed her up with technology, so it's conflicting, you know? Do you take the side of Neolidaism? Vote myself up for the extra EXP. Or do you take the side of technophile? Are you a technophile? Do you prefer technological advancement? Again, nothing is wrong. I see both sides. But it's really interesting to just think about how Overwatch is basically a fight between Neolutism and technophilia. It's it's very it's a very interesting concept to think about. Um, and as I wrap this up this video up with a loot box, do comment below what you think about my theory. I don't want to drag it out any longer, but I think I've included everything that I want to say here. So let's 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 pray to all the deities that you love, that you worship, uh, or that you don't worship. Let's just let's hope for the best here. Let's hope we get some gold that we haven't gotten already. You know, let's just hope for the best. All right, thanks. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Being the universe. Yeah. Whoa. Do I already have that one? But this is this is uh, this is okay, I guess. This isn't. Oh, it's an emote. Cool. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have that emote yet, so that's cool. The booty. Um. That's kind of neat, I guess. This is Jack Jack Morrison. That's cool. I already have that one though. And I already have this skin too. So. But thank you. I got that. I got this. Let's check it out. I got a Torbjorn. I did get a Torbjorn. It's cool. Look at that. A little spray shield. Um, and I got a... This is in an opening loot box video. This is not going to be one of those. Um, I don't have the money for that currently. That's cool. That's cool. I like the like, like the braids there. I like the braids. I like that. It's really neat. Now, this is, you know, this is just what I think. Again, this is not... This is just a game theory. It's dragged out far too long at this point. But what do you think? Do you think that uh, Widowmaker and the whole talent organization, Sombra and Gabriel Reyes, do you think they're all justified? Or do you take the side of Overwatch with Technophile? Do you believe in technological advancement? That Omnic lives are important. What do you think? What do you think in the comments below? Again, this is just speculation. Give your criticism. The constructive criticism, not the stupid troll kind. I like intelligent chatter below. It's very interesting to read. I like reading it. I like reading what you think. And if you have an opinion about it, yeah, go ahead. Uh, give some artistic criticisms, con some constructive criticism. Please do. I love that. And just comment your thoughts in general. I like that. I, I, I appreciate that. Um, and again, I might make another video about this. If Soma comes out and turns out that I was wrong, I will make a video saying that I was wrong. But she is definitely trying to save the people of Mexico as we see it right now. If you go check out all the emails at Lumerico and hack into that shit, go check it out. Go check it out on the Reddit below. Please do. It's amazing what you learn. It, you, if talents, you know, their operatives aren't as bad as you might think. Reaper's just salty. He's constantly in pain. And Widowmaker's just kind of, you know... She, she's, she's just misunderstood. I mean, she, she was a good person before she got you know, brainwashed. If they brainwashed her back, she'd be, you know, she'd remember everything. So, she's technically a good person, too. Sombra, obviously a good person. So, Talon is all good people so far. Really. There's no villains. No one has ever said they are villains. Blizzard has not listed them as villains. They're called heroes. For a reason, people. Because to neo Luddites, they are heroes. And then to Technophiles, Overwatch is the heroes. It's an interesting clash, isn't it? Just comment your thoughts below, though. And if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, or favorite, or whatever you feel is necessary. And I will see all new lovely beings universe in whatever I upload next. Thank you all for coming by. Mwah.